Hi, I'm Mike Annan from Full Service Aquatics and the Pond Hunter video series. I want you guys to take a little excursion with me. I'm heading down to Grantville, Georgia, where we're going to be building a rainwater harvesting system. I'm here at Liberty International Airport and getting ready for my flight, and I want you guys to come along with me. We're on our way. You ever get the feeling that maybe you're the only person interested in putting in rainwater harvesting systems? Okay, so we made it to the airport down in Atlanta. I'm gonna go get my rental car um, and head out to the hotel and I'll check in with you guys in the morning when we head out to the rainwater harvesting system build. Okay, see you then. Okay, so we're heading out to Grantville, to the job site. We're gonna stop in downtown first. And um, hopefully when we get to the project site, maybe even the pond guy himself, Greg Woodstock, will be there from Aquascape as well as uh, we can expect to see Ed Ballou, uh, Dave Kelly, Motel McCready, and a few of the other Aquascape heavy hitters. Okay, we're in beautiful downtown Grantville, Georgia. I love exciting cities like this. You can feel the energy crackling in the air. This is going to be a great project. Let's head over to the project site and see what's going on. Ed Blue, pond builder extraordinaire, is here. Dave Kelly from Aquascape R&D. Gary Whitstock, father of the pond guys here. Tom McCready here on site. Okay, things are moving along here a little bit, but when you get a group of CACs together, you kind of expect that. So I'm going to take a quick walk around with you guys and just show you some of the stuff that we have going on, and uh, we can keep track of how everything is developing here. Got several machines here on site to kind of expedite this work a little bit. That's a liner coming down for the lower portion. A lot of these big pieces of chunky rock work are going to be part of the overall design. We got the placement of the biofalls ready to go. Let's take a look at that real quick. This upper biofalls will have a small pooling area and then it's going to flow down through its own stream into the collection basin down below. We have another biofalls over here and another one right over there. So we're going to have three different waterfalls coming down into the area. We see all these guys working over here. We're going to have a waterfall coming off of this retaining wall as well going in, down into the lower basin area. Here's some of the big boulders that we're going to be using in the installation here. And you can see we have pallets and pallets of smaller material. Um, some larger boulders that are going to be going in as well. This is a really going to be good looking water feature when we're done with it. As well as a functional rainwater harvesting system. And this is that famous red Georgia clay. It's quite a collection of contractors we got together here. And we're going to knock this thing out. Uh, we dug out our area for our aqua blocks. We can see over here, uh, this is where we're getting our source of water. Let me pull this out real quick. This is our... Um, Come on over, look at this. This is our first version, the prototype version of our first flush built. These are heavy duty felt pads. These are used to place under large boulders because over a period of time, these big boulders with pressure can actually cause punctures in liners. So you want to have this little additional measure of insurance underneath these large boulders. The 
placement of each rock is very specific and very intentional, often taking several guys to manipulate these large boulders and get into place just right. The angle is very important and how it's oriented towards the waterfall is very important. Here's a catch basin. It's what we're going to be working with. Now the idea here is that water is going to be coming out of the downspouts and the larger debris is going to get filtered through this open mesh area. Now this is a plastic grid which allows water to flow through but does not allow large debris like leaves, twigs, etc. to go through to the system. Now once it passes through this area on the inside of this we have a micron mesh. This is going to capture really small, fine debris to not allow this to be entering into our water reserve. Once the water passes through here, we have this open basin which captures about 10 to 15 gallons of water at a time and is going to flow out through this area here through a four inch pipe down into the catch basin over there. So the whole idea is to capture all this water to be able to utilize it for further purposes such as irrigation within the home. This is a lower basin here. This is where the rainwater would be collected and used within this application. We already have our snorkel and centipede units installed with the pumps, the matrix blocks as well. And this whole basin is going to be following, feeding from this stream over here. And the liner is going in right now as we speak. Okay, so here's our not yet complete rainwater collector. And that water is going down to the basin. And then it's actually coming underground again over to here. And this is a pressure pump that has a spigot hooked up to it that can be used for irrigating the lawn. And everything is drawn right out from that basin. So we're using the rainwater that's collected inside there for our irrigation and home use purposes. Also here in the basin is the overflow. Now when we have large rain events, water is going to backfill into here and be able to flow out this tube which is running underground down to another basin down here. Now what we've done is dug a hole and basically put in aqua blocks and matrix cubes and covered everything with filter material and this four inch line is going to feed the excess water into here and allow it to slowly percolate back into the groundwater. This part here would be completely covered over. We can grow grass over it and can keep it completely hidden or however, whatever type of landscape treatment we'd like to use. Part of the project here is installing a stone slab staircase, which you can see is along underway. Heading up, we're gonna have a waterfall coming off over in this area here where those rocks are protruding. That'll be a waterfall. And the water will go underneath this stone here and come down into this basin and follow the stream on down. A great deal of detail goes into the edging along the ponds and the streamway to make it look very natural. The basin area of the pond is basically complete. Still some finishing touches to do. They've already started doing the fill on it. We expect to get about 2,200 gallons into this basin area. Now what you see is a very reduced version of what we showed you earlier when it was first excavated. But these areas here where you see dirt there's actually liner underneath that and the dirt has been placed on top. So the basin itself is much larger than the area that you see. We're heading into the second half of the day and we got a good jump on this project. Let's keep watching.